India is a vast country with a great diversity in relief feature. Hello students. So today's topic is physical division of our country. So the physical division of our country is generally divided into six major groups, namely the northern mountains, the northern plains, the coastal plains, Thar Desert and the island groups as well as the Deccan Plateau also. So first we are going to discuss is the northern mountains. So the northern mountains is a long chain of mountains which runs east to west direction in uh, the northern border from the uh, Indus river in the west to Brahmaputra river in the east. So almost it runs for 2400 kilometer. And the Himalayan mountains or the northern mountains are also divided into three main important ranges which are namely uh, the greater Himalayas or the Himadri, then the lesser Himalayas or Himachal and the outer Himalayas, Shivaliks. Each of those ranges almost run parallel to each other and have their own characteristics. Now the northernmost range of the Himalayas is known as Himadri or the greater Himalayas and the average height of this mountain is 6000 meter and uh, some of the important peaks lies in this mountain because these are the loftiest mountain range among the Himalayas. The second range is the Himachal range so it lies south of the Himadri range and also known as lesser or middle Himalayas. The height is almost for the 3700 to uh, 4500 some of the important ranges over here are the uh, Pir Panjal, Dhauladar and many beautiful uh, hill stations also lies in this mountain range such as Masuri, Dalhousie, Nainital, Darjeeling etc. Another range of the Himalayas which lies to the south of the Himachal is the Shivalik range or the outermost uh, Himalayas. And the average height of this is, uh, him range is nearly about 1000 meters. And here the interesting feature what we find is the long valley or the longitudinal valley which is known as Dun. And the famous example is Dera Dun. This mountain range is made up of loose and unconsolidated materials which makes this Himalayan range most prone or vulnerable to the earthquake or uh, landslides. The mountainous region is also broadly classified into three major divisions from west to east direction. From river Indus to river Kali is the western mountainous region and from river Kali to river Tista is the central mountainous region and from river Tista to river Brahmaputra is the eastern mountainous region. The western mountainous region is also further classified into uh, three parts or the three Himalayas, the Kashmir Himalayas, Punjab Himalayas and the Himachal Himalayas or Kumaun Himalayas. The central Himalayas are mostly uh, present in the country of Nepal and a small part lies in Sikkim Himalayas also. The eastern part uh, runs in the country of Bhutan and the state of Arunachal Pradesh and uh, the uh, it is also termed as Arunachal Himalayas. To the east of the country lies Purvanchal Mountains which is consist of Patkai range in Arunachal Pradesh, Naga Hills in Nagaland and Mizo Hills in Mizoram. Garo Hills, Kasahis and Jainta Hills in Meghalaya are also a part of the Purvanchal Mountains. Now those mountain ranges are the extension of northern mountain systems which uh, bend sharply to the sound south of the Hang River and spreads along the eastern boundary of India with Myanmar. Now let us uh, see the significance or the importance of Himalayas. It has a great climatic influence over the country and it also serves as a defensive barrier. It is the sources of many uh, snow-fed rivers like river Ganga, river Yamuna, river Tista and uh, it is also a source of fertile soil. Due to the presence of many rivers, it also led to the generation of electricity. Uh, due to the presence of coniferous 
forest evergreen forest it has a huge wealth and we can harvest many forest resources from it good for agriculture and due to the presence of uh, uh, hill stations good for tourism pilgrimage as well as it is a storehouse of minerals also so there is a vast uh, significance of the himalayas over the uh, social political as well as economy of the country thank you for watching this video i hope this video was quite informative and the rest of the physical divisions i will be explaining in the next video keep watching and keep supporting